Welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel. My name is Grant Pachuco. It is a pleasure to have you here. And welcome back to some more Face to the Mat action. Uh, this is card number two of my Face to the Mat uh, Wrestling Federation. Um, this is, it, it's a reboot, uh, but uh, eventually uh, the results that you see here will match up with the results that have been on this channel previously, and then we will continue on through there. It's going to be a long time before that happens, but that is the goal. Well, we've got five big matches here tonight. We've got a lot of debuts. We've got a big main event coming out of our last card. It is going to be a cage match uh, between America's Finest and the Swashbucklers, but it is a cage with an object match, and that is a chain. Um, so uh, there will just be a chain. They're not tied by a chain, but there will just be a length of chain in the middle of the ring, and whoever gets it can uh, use it. <laughs> we also have another big match in uh, the villainous Kid Cowboy taking on Chief Wahoo uh, for the first time. These two in the in the weeks leading up to the debut of the Federation, uh, these two have had a lot of words back and forth. Uh, but our opening match is going to be Joe Matlock versus Lucky Lou Cool. Uh, Lucky Lou Cool um, has uh, has a lot of good fortune and. Um, Opponent earns double grudge points versus this wrestler. Uh, so um, we'll see if, uh, if if Joe Matlock gets any grudge points. They will be doubled uh, due, to, um, due to Lucky Lou Cool. All right, we are going to roll our um, initial uh, roll here. I have the page alter already turned to highlight real O, but uh, uh, we know that uh, what happens was if whenever I have that, it'll be a five or a six. It is a three, so we will be on highlight real O, and the roll is a 12. Favored wrestler talks trash, increases, increases grudge grade by one point, so he will actually get two points, um, and that will bring him up to a two, uh, because... Lucky Lou Cool uh, has that uh, that ability. All right, we are going to get going here. Object. Uh, neither of them have the object ability. Helped. Uh, neither of them have the helped ability. Uh, 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 helped ability. Uh, quick. Uh, that one is a uh, uh, lightning bolt, so neither has that. Uh, so it will be a, uh, a tie, and um, if we rotate this heavy, uh, Lucky Lukul is heavy, um, so I'm just going to give it to him. Uh, he's on a thing. This will be for two points. Starts off with a belly-to-belly -belly pile driver. Uh, one, two. All right, just to get some scoring going. Quick! Uh, Joe Matlock is quick, so he will get three. That is a gold thing. It's a shoulder jawbreaker. One, two, three. So Joe Matlock now in control. Cheat. Lucky Lou has the cheat, but he is not on a square, so he can't use it. Uh, cheat. No, he didn't score there, so uh, we will reverse this quick. That's going to be Joe Matlock again. And uh, five is a flying head scissors. One, two, three. Joe Matlock getting ahead here in our opening contest. Quick, that's going to be Joe Matlock again. And uh, to re-roll that, that's going to be a roundhouse quick for one point. And helped. Neither of these guys uh, have the helped ability. So we will move on. Grudge. Who has the higher grudge grade? Well, that's going to be Joe Matlock. So uh, he is going to do a knee drop for one point. Mean. Uh, neither of these guys are mean. Uh, neither of these guys are mean. So we can't use that. Specialty. Uh, specialty. They both can use their specialty right now. So this will go to the trailing wrestler. And uh, pure luck, good fortune, in-ring benefits him. Hurts opponent for four points. One, two, three, four. Lucky Lou catching up here. TV grade. All right, so they both have a C. 
so it's a jumping kick, but again, that's going to go to the trailing wrestler. So Lucky Lou gets lucky there and gets one point. Favorite. Uh, neither of these wrestlers are a favorite. Helped. Neither of these are helped. Smart. Uh, Joe Matlock is smart. So uh, rolls an arm breaker, and he is about to turn the corner. Uh, helped. He is not helped. Can't use that. But uh, Lucky Lou Cool will use the powerful and rolls a vertical suplex. One, two, three. And he turns the corner first. Specialty. Uh, well, this is, uh, let's see. Specialty is a star and a star. They both can use it. But specialty, since it's a tie, goes to the trailing wrestler. Uh, Golden Touch Head Claw Hold. Three points. One, two, three. Uh, he is going to hang on uh, for the pin, not use it yet. Uh, heavy. Uh, that's Lucky Lou Cool. He's got the heavy. And he hits a reverse mat slam for three. One, two, three. Uh, he is going to go for a pin. Let's see. His TV grade is a C. So 11 through 36. Ooh, it's a 16. There is a kick out there. That could have cost Lucky Lou Cool for sure. Highlight reel, uh, roll again, A or B. Uh, we'll say odd uh, will be A, even will be B. It will be B, it will be B. Uh, let me turn here to the highlight reel. Highlight reel B, and it's a 14, 14, wrestler leaves ring to attack third party, loses one point. Okay, so to answer the question, is it's always the favored wrestler who they're talking about here. So he's going to lose one point uh, by going to attack, uh, we'll say uh, Crash Bradley came to ringside, and uh, or we'll say uh, Doc Off Rocker came to ringside, and uh, Joe Matlock attacked him for attempting to interfere. Uh, so we are back at it. Favorite. Uh, neither of these guys are a favorite. Wild card. Go to the appropriate wild card game uh, chart in the book. So this is just a regular match. We will head to the wild card results for a ring match. And we get a 14. Favorite. Is he a favorite? He is not a favorite. Um, reversal. Opponent has the option exchanging point totals with the wrestler. And he does. It's a reversal. And now Lucky Lou Cool is uh, heading up fast. Ref bump. Oh, we just had one of these in our last uh, show. H-I-J-K. And that's a 53. Uh, ref KO'd. Good guy celebrity takes over as ref. Face race wrestler benefits. All right. Well, you know, I haven't picked who's a 70s actor who could hop into the ring. Uh, we're going to say Paul Newman hops in the ring uh, to continue as the referee and uh, uh, face wrestler benefits. Um Oh, I see that number three is for who's on the chart, but I didn't I didn't pick three celebrities, uh, but we'll just say it's Paul Newman. Uh, face wrestler benefits benefits with a new ref. Benefiting wrestler scores double points on any scoring move from the fast action count. Uh, long count when pinned, five kickout rolls instead of three. Short count when pinned, only one kickout roll. May use cheat results if desired. All right, so. Uh, so he gets double points on any move, but we are not ready to, to pin or anything yet. Uh, specialty. Now he just got points last time. Um, so he's going to use his specialty pure luck. Uh, six points. One, two, three, four. All right. So he's at the finisher. So since Paul Newman is in there, Joe Matlock is going to get uh, five kickout rolls. He's at a C, so 11 through 23. 
53. Uh, 31. Ooh, 14. He is able to kick out. Uh, this uh, uh, Lucky Lou Cool is crying foul quick. Uh, that's going to be Joe Matlock, except he is on a square, so he cannot use that. Uh, favorite, neither of those have that, so we will go to the next card. Heavy, um, but that is a wrestler in control, and right now we don't know who is in control. Grudge, so that's going to be Joe Matlock. He has three, uh, and he hits... A fist drop, Shades of Jerry Lawler, and he's going to get six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's going to hit his finisher. And remember, this is a short count, only one kickout roll. So he's got a C. So Lucky Lou Cool needs a uh, needs an 11 through 23. 41. So the winner uh, with... The um, combination lock, rolling ankle lock, is none other than Joe Matlock. Uh, Paul Newman raises his hands uh, into the air. And uh, let's roll on the post-match chart and see what happens. We got a five, so that will be a face. So we go to highlight reel T. And we got a 33. Face wins results in end of existing feud with current. Face win results in an existing feud with current face foe. Uh, so that's good. That will be, uh, they start a new feud. Crash Bradley, that's who. Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, who did we say? Doc Off Rocker. Because uh, that's who the foe is. Uh, so after the match, Doc Off Rocker comes out. These two start brawling, brawling, and uh, we will see what happens there. All right, uh, well, stay tuned. Our next match is coming right up. Welcome back for our next match, and it's going to be Fast Fo uh, Bobby Bernard versus Crash Bradley. Uh, these are the uh, first times we've seen them. Although Crash Bradley has lost his favorite quality. Um, if you've watched all these videos, you know what happened there. But uh, let's see what happens. It's a five, so that's going to be highlight reel R. And the roll is going to be a 56. And a 56. Bad guy celebrate, uh, celebrity fools face into letting down guard. Reduce face grudge grade by one point. So who would be a bad guy celebrity in the 70s? Let's we'll say Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Diller uh, makes fun of uh, the face and uh, Bobby Bernard kind of second guessing himself and uh, he is going to lose one grudge point. All right, here we go for the match. Uh, trailing, um, the comeback surge. Uh, they are tied breaking, goes the trailer wrestler. If they're both tied, favored gets it. Uh, so fast Bobby Bernard, whoa, gets a big six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big start right there. Uh, agile, is he agile? He is agile. Uh, so he is going to hit a top rope knee lift for one point. And next we've got mean. Uh, neither of these gentlemen are mean. Uh, who has the higher grudge grade? That's going to be Crash Bradley. And he rolls a turnbuckle smash, one, two, and gets some points at least. Cheat, nope, he's uh, he's not a cheater over there, so neither wrestler has that. Uh, signature, that's a control one. Uh, favorite, uh, the f he had the favorite quality, but he no longer has it. All right, so we're gonna uh, do one more, and if it is nobody, well, it is a wild card. Go to the appropriate wild card, so we will head back to the front of the book. This is just regular ring match. Uh, so we will roll here and we get a 44 helped. Uh, he is not helped. Uh, wrestler makes an unscheduled appearance in the ring to aid opponent. Opponent scores three points. One, two, three. Let me see if Crash Bradley, uh, I think we're gonna say He's got nobody listed. I'm gonna. I think we're gonna say that Kevin Linton. 
uh, comes out and he's the one who interferes uh, on behalf of Crash Bradley. And we will continue. Powerful. Uh, that's going to be Crash uh, Bradley. And he is on a square. So that will work. Ooh, big six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. He turns the corner. Uh, favorite. Ooh, he doesn't have it. Neither of them have it. Uh, favorite, again, you could have used that Crash Bradley if he didn't become a bad guy. TV grade, uh, they both have a C, so it'll go to the Trailing Wrestler, a toe hold for one point. And the Trailing Wrestler is going to get three points for a Reverse Brain Buster. One, two, three. Now they are tied again. Grudge, that is going to be Crash Bradley. He's going to get two points. For a flapjack mat slam, one, two, and uh, let's see. He's pretty close over here, uh, and he's got a C. Uh, I think he's, they're just going to go for it. They're trying to get to their finisher. Uh, favorite, oh, neither has it. That would have come in handy, Crash Bradley, if you were still a good guy. Strong, uh, he's got it. But it is on a circle, so he cannot use it. Highlight reel, uh, A or B. All right, so uh, odd will be, whoa. Odd will be A, even will be B. It is a B again. So uh, that happened last card. Highlight reel B. And... We get a 42, 42, fan aids wrestler, smashes food from concession stand into the face of the opponent. Two points, one, two. Uh, and I think, uh, let's see. Um, no, they're gonna both try to get to their finish. Quick, he's got the quick, he doesn't quick for two. Uh, that is a running knee lift. One, two. He will hit his finisher. Uh, it is uh, 11 through 16 is what Crash Bradley has to roll. And he rolls a 13. So he does not submit to uh, the ankle lock. And we will continue. Smart. Uh, both are smart. Uh, but Fast Bobby Bernard has it on a star. He's on a circle. So he will get the smart three points. One, two, three. Um, oh, should he go for the pin or should he go for his finisher again? Uh, he's going to go for the pin. Uh, so he's got a C, 11 through 23. Uh, ooh, he is able to kick out. Bad luck for fast Bobby Bernard. Strong. Uh, he has the strong, but he can't use it because he's on a circle. Uh, strong, that's controlling wrestler. Mean, uh, neither of these guys are mean. Uh, powerful, can't use this, so we're going to roll the one die. And Fast by Bernard gets six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going to roll his finisher again, 11 through 16. And 21. Uh, so uh, with the stop the clock ankle lock, Crash Bradley taps out, and fast Bobby Bernard uh, defeats him. And we will now roll on the post-match chart. And it is a five, so the heel, I mean the face one. So we're going to go to highlight reel T. QRS T. Here we go. Uh, 12. Decision change to no decision by scheming commissioner. You know, I don't like that. I'm going to re-roll it. Because this is the 70s. There's no scheming com commissioner. Uh, 34. Face result win results in existing alliance with current face ally. Uh, okay. So uh, I'll come up with something there. Um, let's see. Who could be uh, Fast by Bernard's ally? Let's say, did Joe Matlock get an ally during that last one? No. So we're going to say uh, 
with Joe Matlock comes out to celebrate. Stay tuned. We'll be right back for our next match. We are back and the fans are super excited because a popular fan favorite, Haystacks Hill, is out in the ring. He's waving to the fans. He'll be taking on Dan Hammer. And uh, let's roll and see. We've got a highlight reel O. And we got a 31. 31 is underdog wrestler concedes the opponent is superior. Reduce, reduce both wrestlers' grudge grades by two points. Holy moly. That's going to bring uh, Haystacks Hill down to, well, I guess I could have just left the one and wrote a negative to negative one, but that's going to bring Dan Hammer down to a negative two. He shouldn't have admitted that. Seems like kind of a stupid thing to admit. All right, so this is our match. Now, we're running low on the uh, fa uh, fast action cards over here, but I have just shuffled all these, so when the time comes, I will move them in uh, and continue the action. Okay, let me fix this. Uh, and here we go. Strong. He is strong. Uh, he is strong, so they could both use this. They are tied. Uh, so, uh, it's going to go to the favored wrestler, which is Haystacks Hill, and he is going to get three points with a Fireman's Carry Brain Buster. One, two, three. There you go. Next is Agile, and this is a submission. Haystacks Hill has Agile, uh, but he is on a circle, not a square. Um, and so nobody can use this one. We'll move to the next one. Helped. Uh, neither of these folks are helped. TV. Uh, Haystacks Hill has the better TV grade. So he hits a body slam for two points. One, two. Wild card. Go to the appropriate wild card. All right, we're back to the top of the book here. And we get a 23. 23. Is he strong? He certainly is strong. Opponent smashes object into wrestler's body, but wrestler will not be affected. Responds with a knee lift. Scores one point. So Dan Hammer tried to hit Haystacks Hill with his hammer, and it just, uh, he said no. He's got a rubber hammer that he brings with him, and he hits him with a knee lift. Uh, object. He does not have an object, so we will reverse this. Favorite. He is not a favorite. Can't use that. All right, powerful. Uh, he is powerful. He is not. And so this will finally give him some moves. This is a, a submission. So he's going to score one point. And now uh, uh, Haystacks Hill needs to roll a one through a four in order to break out. Five. No, so that's another point. He's got to roll a one through a four. Two. Okay, he's finally able to break out of the submission hold. Uh, agile. Is he agile? He is not. So we will move this, and it's heavy. He is heavy. He is on a circle. He can use it. Uh, it is going to be a body press and scissors for three points. One, two, three. About to turn the corner. Grudge. Who has the higher grudge grade? That's Haystacks Hill. So he is going to hit a next snap and reverse. One, two, three. Uh, should he go for the pin? Uh, let's see. He's got a C rating, so it would be 11 through 23. I think he's going to look to go for his finisher here. Uh, so here we go. Smart. Uh, neither of these gentlemen are smart. Strong. He is strong. He can use it anywhere. He is strong. He can use it on a circle. So that's going to go to the trailing wrestler, and it is another submission. So he's going to get one point. Haystack Hill needs a one through a four to get out of this. Uh, two. He does. He is able to get out of it. Uh, strong. He is strong. He can use this. The controlling wrestler, uh, with a body scissors lock, two points. Here comes Dan Hammer coming back. And mean. Uh, Dan Hammer is mean. He can use it any time. Uh, rolls a stomp flurry. One, two. Here comes Dan Hammer. Powerful. He is powerful, but is on a circle. So he cannot use it. Cheat. No, Haystacks Hill would never cheat, ever. 
Grudge. That's going to be Haystack Hill. Uh, and then it's going to be a double stomp for two points. One, two. Is he going to try to finish it? Uh, he's so close over here. I think he's going to wait. He is confident he's going to be able to hit his finisher. Agile. He is agile. He can use it. He is not agile. So three. That puts him into his finisher. His finisher is the old standby Clover Leak Flock. Uh, 11 through 42 is what Dan, Dan Hammer needs. 11 through 42. And he gets a 31. So he is able to kick out Dan Hammer. Uh, still in this. Strong. Can't use that. Uh, he can use it. So that'll be a chokehold for one point. Uh, highlight reel. A or B. So A is uh, odd and B is even and it's an even so we will roll on highlight reel b and we get a 15 uh current match sparks grudge tag team match each wrestler chooses a partner uh, i'm gonna re-roll this because we just had this exact same thing uh 36 uh wrestler flings opponent to matt with savage brain buster three points one two three um, he is going to go for the pin. Um, wait, wait, wait. I did this wrong. 11 through 42 is not the range for him to kick out. 11 through 42 is if he rolls in that range, it works. So this match is over. We don't even need to roll the rest of this stuff. I'm so sorry about that, folks. Uh, so Haystacks Hill, uh, defeated Dan Hammer with, um, the old standby. Cloverleaf leg lock. I apologize to all the face to the mat fans who were screaming at the uh, at your screens, going, "No, you idiot!" Uh, all right, so let's see here. Which highlight reel? It's going to be uh, highlight reel U. So Haystacks Hill gets the win, and what happens post match? Let's see, 64. Um, heel win results in the opportunity uh, to generate heat, TV grade. Um, this is what we did, we had earlier, so I'm going to re-roll this again. Uh, 14. Commissioner secretly offers to reverse decision of face. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. T, sorry. So T, 64. Face wins, uh, results in an opportunity to generate heat, increase TV grade on dice roll or not. If face wants to work the crowd, roll one die. On a one, two, or three, increase the face TV grade by one letter. On roll by a four, increase the heels grade. So this is just the opposite of what we had. Um, he is going to try it because Haystacks Hill uh, loves the fans. But six, nothing is going to change. He does, he does uh, salute the fans and... Uh, has fun with them, but uh, nothing changes there. So again, I apologize about that. I'm still getting the hang of it here. Uh, eventually, I will be as good as Steve Tower after further review. All right, here we go. Here's our next match. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. This is uh, the hero, Chief Wahoo, versus the conniving cow uh, kid cowboy. And... Uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so uh, we're going to go to highlight reel O. And we got a 31. Underdog wrestler concedes that opponent is superior. Um, that's the thing we just had, so we're going to roll it again. Uh, and it is 14. Favored wrestler speaks conciliatory words about opponent. Decrease grunge grade by one point. So uh, Chief Wahoo is going to go down to a 2. Chief Wahoo was one of the, the couple of wrestlers who I rolled the die for uh, to determine their grudge grade. Um, so let's see, 14 again, one point. So this becomes a two. All right, here we go. Here is our next match. Chief Wahoo, Kid Cowboy. Uh, can't use that one. It's a control one. Smart. Uh, Kid Cowboy is smart, and he can use it. All right, so one, that's going to be a Thez Press. Here's the next one, uh, Wild Card. So, regular match, Wild Card. We got a 13. 
Uh, agile. He is agile. Gets opponent into a Boston Crab move. Scores three points. One, two, three. The crowd cheering. Chief Wahoo. Uh, agile. He is agile. Uh, he does a spinning back fist, and then it's another one point. Cheat. He no. He does not have the cheat. Quick. He does have the quick. So that will be uh, a Russian leg sweep for one point. Strong. Uh, he is strong. He is on a circle. He can use it. Uh, it is a running power slam. Uh, one, two, three. Mean. He is not mean. Cannot use that at all. Uh, strong. He cannot use that. Smart. He is smart, so he will do a body chop for one point. Favorite. Uh, neither of these guys are a favorite. Wild card. Okay, so uh, here we go. Wild card is a 53. 53 heavy. He is not heavy. Opponent scores two points with an airplane spin. Uh, of the wrestler, followed by a toss to the mat. One, two. Ref bump. Here we go again. All right. We, we just had a ref bump. Uh, and uh, uh, Paul Newman was the special guest ref. All right. Here we go. Uh, over to Highlight Reel K. J, K. There we go. And we got a 26. Uh, ref take shot continues, but groggy. Both wrestlers get six kickout rolls instead of three. Holy moly! Six? He really is groggy. Uh, all right. Agile. Um, who scored last? Uh, it was a wild card, and Chief Wahoo scored last. Uh, but there was a ref bump in between there, so uh, I'm going to say no one's in control. Object. He is an object. He's got... Uh, he is an object. Uh, he has um, a, uh, a lasso that he can use to rub in the eyes. No, rub in... Uh, rub around the torso of uh, Kid Cow... Of uh, Chief Wahoo for three points. One, two, three. Helped. Neither of these guys are helped. Heavy. Neither of these guys are heavy. Smart. Uh, Kid Cowboy is smart, so he's going to take... Uh, he's going to hit a shoulder neckbreaker for three points. One, two, three. Title holder. Neither of these guys are title holders. We do not have a title yet. We don't have a champ. That will be coming up soon. Um, we want to get some cards under here to get some base rankings. Agile. Uh, they are both agile, but this will go to the trailing wrestler. So Chief Wahoo with a chicken wing. Do I just have one card there? Yes, quick. Um, they are both quick. So again, that'll go to the trailing wrestler uh, with a shoulder jawbreaker. One, two, one, two, three. Cheat. Neither of these guys have cheat. Quick, uh, they both have quick, and they are tied. Uh, so the tie is going to go uh, to Chief Wahoo, and he is going to get three points for a turnbuckle smash. One, two, three. He is waiting to try his finisher. Smart. Is he smart? He is not smart. Uh, so we will review this. Oh, no. Kid Cowboy gets to use his specialty. Uh, which is the Bronco Buster Flying Forearm Smash for three points. One, two, three. Look at this. It's going to be whoever can hit their finishing fir finisher first. Trailing. Neither wrestler is trailing. Um, so then the underdog is going to win. Uh, comeback Surge 5. So he is going to try his finisher. And it is a Cowboy Kick Big Boot. 11 through 33. And this works. And no, it doesn't work. Uh, see, I remembered how to do this. And uh, so let's see what happens. Helped. Neither of these guys are helped. Wild card. We're going back to the wild card here. 
And we've got a 32. 32, is he quick? He is quick. Uh, wrestler avoids thrown object, pops up and clotheslines the opponent for two points. So now Chief Wahoo gonna try his finisher, which is an 11 through 52. And it is a 42. And so with the Navajo Deathlock, Chief Wahoo uh, defeats Kid Cowboy in their first outing. Uh, all right. And now let's see what's going to happen after the match. Uh, three, go to Highlight Reel X. You're going to want to stay tuned, folks, because we've got a big main event coming up next. And let's see what this is. 14. Uh, winning wrestler speaks conciliatory words about uh, the opponent decreases grudge grade by two points. So Kid Cowboy going to go from... Uh, oh, no, wait. Decrease by two points. So Chief Wahoo... Uh, <laughs> is going to speak highly of Kid Cowboy's uh, abilities, and he is going to lose some grudge points because of it. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for our big main event. All right, we are ready for our main event, and that is uh, America's Finest versus uh, the Swashbugglers in a cage with an object match. Uh, so the way this works is um, the first person here, we'll put a little... Uh, this is a chain. That's what the object is. And uh, we will put a little marker there. So the first person um, to uh, to reach a square space, uh, I guess, it would actually be any square space. So, But they'd have to land on a square space. Um, I don't know if I have enough of these little tokens. I might. Uh, that's good enough for... I should have one more. There we go. Okay. So when they land on a square space, uh, they get to use the chain. They roll the dice, and they get uh, that many spaces. Um, but this is also a cage match, so if we get to a wild card chart, uh, we will roll on the special wild card chart. Uh, but let's see what happens pre-match. Uh, we get a one, so that is highlight reel O. And I will say, if this is some crazy result, I may ignore it because this is already nuts, right? It's already a cage match with a chain. So depending on what this role is here, we will see what we do. All right, we got a 64. Commissioner makes derogatory comments about the upcoming match, increases both wrestlers' grudge grade by three points. All right, well, that will happen here. So uh, all these guys get three points the commissioner's like i don't i don't approve of this kind of match uh i think this is uh i mean the terminology didn't uh didn't exist then i don't think but uh this is a grudge ma a garbage match um all right so pete revere uh steve america duke of world they're all gonna have the same grudge grade but it's all gonna be a three And Captain Black will also have a three. Okay, here we go with our big, ginormous uh, cage, uh, cage with an object match. And away we go, mean. Uh, uh, Pete Revere actually has the mean quality. Uh, so uh, that will be a five, a torture rack. One, two, three. He's getting close uh, to that chain. Wild card. So we're back on the wild cards, but we're doing a cage wild card. Uh, wild card results cage matches. You know what? I forgot to tag them out because he got a successful move. Uh, so there we go. 44. 44, object. Uh, he does not have an object. Opponent bashes wrestler's shoulder in a cage. One point. So one point there. The Duke of Whirl. TV, who has the better TV grade? They're equal, so the trailing wrestler will get this. He's got a C, 
and it's a jumping kick for one point. Object. Uh, neither of these uh, folks have an object. TV again, um, and it, again, it's going to go to the trailing wrestler with a hammer lock with one point. They are now tied. Powerful. Steve America is powerful, so he is going to hit a four, which is a torture rack. One, two, three, four, and he gets the chain. He is going to roll it here, one, and go one point more, and then tag out. Favorites. Uh, neither of them are favorite. TV. Again, we've got a C, but this will go to the trailing wrestler. And uh, one point with a toe hold. Uh, helped. Does he have the helped? Well, it is a tag match. So, yes, uh, he does have the helped. So he gets three points. One, two, three. And he gets the chain and gets to go four points. One, two, three three, four, and he is going to use the chain again. One, two. Uh, let's see. C, um, 11 through 23. Let me swap these out here. Um, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for the pin. He wants to finish this. Uh, 62. 25, close there, so that's two, and 53. So, ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the Swashbucklers defeat America's Finest. Uh, we're going to say a, uh, a smash with the chain, and uh, there you go. All right. So, because this is a, a, a tag grudge match tag team challenge, um, the winner of the match increases one TV grade, loser decreases a TV grade. So, uh, the swashbucklers are both going to get a B rating now. And Pete Revere and Steve America are going to drop down both of them to a D. Uh, so I would say early front runners for tag team champions are the Swashbucklers. Um, but we will see. What I'm uh, the plan here is to do four cards and uh, give everybody at least two matches, and then I'll have a top eight uh, so that we can crown a champion. Uh, but there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. A big shout out to all of our Patreon patrons for being so awesome and uh, taking care of the channel. Uh, we do appreciate it. Stay tuned. More Face to the Mat action coming, and uh, lots more fun here on the Solar Promoter YouTube channel. Bye, everybody.